What's going on, Phil Rooters? I'm Joshua Thomas, and I'm here to talk about, well, for the first time, Final Fantasy XVII. I'd been looking for a reason to talk about this, and finally, it happened. Uh, we had an interview with Naoki Yoshida, or Yoshi P, and in it, they talk a little bit about Final Fantasy XVII and what could be in the future of Final Fantasy. So in the interview, they discuss who would be directing Final Fantasy XVII, and in it, Yoshi P says that he's had the chance to, uh, you know, work on two of these, 14 and 16, so maybe it's time for something new, you know? Instead of having the same old guys handling the next one, I think in some ways it would be good to look to the future and bring in younger generations with more youthful sensibilities to make a new Final Fantasy with challenges that suit today's world. And I can totally understand where he's coming from. We have had some veterans working on the mainline Final Fantasies for a long time now, and it really is time for them to start training the next generation of producers and directors for the mainline Final Fantasy series. So what this tells us too is that there's a possibility that they haven't even started working on a Final Fantasy 17 yet, or if they have, they just have to keep it under wraps because they just can't talk about it yet. But either way, I completely agree. Um, while these veterans have made some outstanding Final Fantasies, we do need to start seeing what the future of Final Fantasy directors and leadership could be. So he also goes in and talks about, um, you know, what kind of Final Fantasy they might make. Um, Final Fantasy is about challenging what's been done before, he responds, uh, noting that series creator Hironobu Sakaguchi and FF brand manager Katase feel the same way. And while I'm certain not looking to pick, while I'm certainly not looking to pick a fight uh, with the older games, we all make FF games thinking mine will be the most fun. So my advice is to just dive in and first put down on paper what you believe would be the most enjoyable Final Fantasy before thinking too hard about it. Uh, he also goes on to say that what, you know, what can they make differently? Of course, Final Fantasy 17 isn't going to have the same combat system, but it might build off of past combat systems. And he also talks about the fact that Final Fantasy 17 could even be like a modern-day pixel graphics video game. Uh, that would be something different. It could go back to turn-based. It could be a turn-based action hybrid like 7 Remake. But uh, I will say that I think it would be cool to have a pixelated modern-day Final Fantasy, but I don't know that it should be uh, one of the main numbered lines. Uh, I could see a pixel graphics Final Fantasy being some kind of all shoot like Crystal Chronicles or Legends or something like that. Um, and I, I think it's a fantastic thing to take these new directors and these new producers and say, you know what, Final Fantasy is always about trying something new. That is what's at the heart of Final Fantasy. But what are some things that they may need to succeed? One of the first things is, I think, what is at the heart of every Final Fantasy game, or at least every numbered Final Fantasy game that's ever been created, and that is the storyline. Even back to Final Fantasy 1, even though by modern day standards it doesn't have the greatest story, back then a game that took that long to complete and had that many story elements was also extremely rare. Having a great story, number one, is going to be the biggest thing in Final Fantasy 17. And backing up that great story is going to be the world building, but also great characters. I think Final Fantasy VII Remake has done a, a fantastic job of showing what, what great, lovable characters can look like, even if those characters may not be likable, they're still enjoyable to play as and see the story of. You may not have always liked Cloud, you may not have always liked Barrett, but they kind of grow on you, and it's still interesting to see what they get into and what their personalities are and how they grow. 
The other two modern Final Fantasies, Final Fantasy XV and Final Fantasy XVI, were both action-based, and they they both had great characters as well, uh, to varying extents. Of course, everybody's going to look at every Final Fantasy a little differently, and so while of the three modern ones, 15, 16, and 7 Remake, I would say that 7 Remake had the best characters, the best dialogue, and just the, the best character interactions. They all had great interactions, and you could tell that 7 Remake really built upon the character interactions and world building of 15. But there is one issue that we have with these modern day Final Fantasies, and that, that is there's not a ton of diversity amongst the playable characters. And in some cases, there's not even that much diversity amongst the NPCs as well. There is some diversity, yes, in 15 and 16, and I would say that once again, 7 Remake has the most diversity, and it's kind of sad to say that because 7 Remake is based on the video game that was made in 1997, so all the modern day ones that are brand new had less diversity than I think a lot of people are expecting. And while, yes, this is a Japanese-made game, and I don't know much about Japanese culture, I think that they are intelligent enough to understand that many other parts of the world who love these Final Fantasy games need to experience characters who look similar to them. It's we always want to see ourselves represented in the media that we love to consume. And while we can still enjoy playing characters that aren't the same sex or race or whatever you, you may think, we still love to see ourselves represented in them. So as you can see, we've got some characters here. These are just my interpretations that I created with some AI generators, in this case Firefly, that uh, I think would make an, an interesting and dynamic Final Fantasy XVII main character list. So yeah, that's, that's one thing that would be really important, is just having s uh, some diverse characters. Now, the combat system also needs to be updated and interesting. And once again, of the last three Final Fantasies that we talked about, it seems that the fans almost unanimously agree that 7 Remake has an amazing combat system that marries the old and the new. It's both action and turn-based in a manner of speaking. Whereas 15 and 16 both had action-based systems, and while in 15 you could set it to a weight system, which was kind of weird, 15's action system felt a little bare bones, and then they made 15 Royal Edition, which fixed some of that. And that's another thing that's important, too, is that 15 Royal Edition added the ability to play as your other party members. Having your other party members just kind of being there and only being able to sort of control them by your own actions as the main character can be fun, but also it can also just not feel complete. And I think that was really driven home in Final Fantasy 16, where you literally only had control of Clive and could give your dog Torgal commands. It really felt like the other characters who were there fighting with you were just kind of empty, and while you saw them doing some amazing stunts and magic spells, you weren't really sure what it was doing and what kind of effect it was having on you and the battle in general. So, one thing Final Fantasy 17's combat system needs is the ability to control all of your party members. Once again, 7 Remake does a fantastic job of that. And while we know that there's going to be a new style of combat, they can build upon the hybrid system where there are abilities that you can hotkey or abilities that you can use with one button press, but also maybe it would be important to be able to go into a menu and choose some abilities in that manner, or perhaps have a hotkey that switches abilities on your other hotkeys. It would almost be like Final Fantasy 16, except we also need elemental weaknesses back, uh, and, and a, a bigger difference between physical and magical combat, because I think that really adds a new dynamic to the combat system. 
What else do we need in Final Fantasy 17? Well, as you saw in the pictures I had, I, I made more of a, a, a diesel punk industrial sort of society, as you can see by the clothing that they're wearing and their backgrounds. But really, it can be any kind of era or punk genre or some brand new genre that is a hybrid of multiple other genres. And that's honestly something that Final Fantasy creators do very well. But the world needs to be interesting, new, and dynamic. And I think that's something that regardless of how good all of these other Final Fantasies are, they always manage to create unique worlds. We also need to be able to do lots of things in these unique worlds. We need to have reasons for us to explore these worlds, and we need to have secrets to uncover, we need to have good items to find and good treasure to find, new story threads, and good side quests. They need to be littered throughout these worlds and paced in a good way as well. So those are my thoughts on what it's going to take to make Final Fantasy XVII a new top-notch Final Fantasy, the one to, you know, raise the bar and be the next level of things that other video games strive to be. Let me know if you think I missed anything, and I hope to hear your thoughts on what you would love to see in the next Final Fantasy 17. And based on the article, once again, it could be another five years before we see anything for Final Fantasy 17, but I can't wait to find out what it will be. Thanks for watching. Hope you all guys will like and subscribe and check out more Final Fantasy content on the Thor Road Express, and I'll check you guys next time.